Staying true to their mission to drive change, Capitec have partnered with Cape Town-based artist, designer and illustrator Dr. Anya Fenter, better known as Nana Fenter, on an exciting campaign to reimagine what the RAND could look like with a woman on it. Capitec's Chandre Matlala explains. For Women's Month, our team came together and after some research, we found that only 9% of the world's currency actually have females on it. And for Capitec, we have 16 million clients, about 52% of those are women, and representation really matters. We really want our clientele to be represented on the back note. I am Anya Nana Fenter. I hail from the sprawling metropolis of Belleville and I consider myself to be a bit of an art astronaut, uh, which is to say that I use creativity to kind of explore the creative universe through a bunch of media and avenues. I am a postdoctoral fellow at the Cape Peninsula University of Technology. I make clothing and jewelry and anything that really comes my way or crosses my desk. We are excited and proud to be partnering with incredible female artists such as Anya Nana Fenter, President Hani and Zanele Monje, who've agreed to come on this journey with us and tell the stories of various prolific South African women who we feel should be on the banknote. Capitec reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to participate in this Women's Day initiative and it's an immense honour and privilege to be the first person out of the door. Also just because I'm in such wonderful company, uh, the other two artists I admire greatly and it's been a bit of a whirlwind but I'm super excited to be participating in this initiative. Anya is a strong female artist who really has her own voice and her own style, her own way of walking in life. And we really wanted that for women who are diverse and with their own diverse sense of being and style, we thought Anya would be perfect in translating that into the artwork. I believe this initiative is incredibly important because representation really does matter. And if we can achieve this goal, it will mean a tremendous amount to children in this country that need to see heroes that aren't men. You can't really talk about Women's Day in South Africa without addressing the fact that we have two Women's Days. We have International Women's Day and then we have the commemoration of the 9th of August, 1956, the day that 20,000 women marched up to the Union buildings in Pretoria bearing more than 100,000 signatures. Women across at the time, very segregated population groups and demographics came together in mass and marched up to the Union buildings under the leadership of Sophia Williams, Helen Joseph, Lillian Goy, and Raima Musa, and pretty much spoke truth to power, stood there, the members of the government at the day wouldn't even meet them, and so they left the petitions at the door of Jechia Streidom and stood in complete silence for 30 minutes, which must have just been the most amazing moment, and then started singing a song that was specifically written for the occasion, Watint Abafazi, Watint Mbokodo, which means, now you've touched a woman, you've struck a rock. And it's one of my favorite moments in our history and the history of women in South Africa. The style that I've chosen to render this piece in is very similar to the rest of my art, which largely inspired by comic book style. It was a big part of my training and my sort of personal approach to visual arts. And I think they look like total superheroes in this moment, and so I think it's only appropriate. My process involves a lot of visual research, I had to go look up a bunch of images of the day and this particular photograph which I then treat digitally and I start creating kind of digital pencils on my computer. For this project, due to time constraints and the large scale of the piece, I decided to print my pencils onto archival paper and then rework it with ink by hand. Capitec is known for being a disruptor of the traditional banking space 
and we want to lend our voice to this. We'll be spreading the message on Capitech's official Twitter, Instagram and Facebook accounts where we'll be asking our followers to send through suggestions of who they think should be on the banknote and we'll be using those for the artists to actually put those um, prolific women on the South African currency that they're creating for us. It's been truly incredible to work on this campaign because I feel like very much in the spirit of the women from 1956, women have come together and by standing together, we can really affect tremendous change. Which women do you think should be featured on South African currency? Reply with your suggestions on one of the posts featuring Anya's artwork on Capitec's official social media pages. And the women you suggest could potentially be featured on the next artwork. Lend your support and join the conversation using hashtag reimagine the Rand essay.